Well, folks, we know what Nintendo's big NSO playtest is for this week. In fact, I've got two, that's right, two full pages of notes on the playtest. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you anything. So Nintendo updated stuff late last night for all the people that were accepted into the playtest. And no, I was not accepted into it. I'm under no agreement and under nothing with Nintendo. There, nothing Nintendo should be able to do about this video. And unfortunately, I have to bring that up because anyone who shows screenshots of it, anyone who puts video footage in, of what's not even the game. It's like a little intro thing that it's not even a video. It's it's just a, a, a giant long imagery on the official website that just explains what it is and what the program is. And again, I'm gonna explain that all to you anyways because there's nothing Nintendo can do about it. But if you show screenshots, if you show videos, what Nintendo is doing is copyright claiming and even striking down people on all social media, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, here on YouTube, they are striking channels down, not that read off and talk about what I'm talking about, because again, they can't do it to that, but they are doing it to people who are showing images and showing video of it, which is essentially 90% text in the first place. So I do think that this is just Nintendo being a little draconian. Uh, I also want to note here that Nintendo, uh, I don't know what you're doing. I just want to throw this out there. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. You're doing a public test, you call it a public playtest yourself, involving tens of thousands of gamers uh, playing this thing. No matter how nicely you ask people not to share things, it was obviously going to get leaked the second things went live, just like there will be people on Wednesday, not here, but elsewhere, live streaming it as well. So I don't know what Nintendo was thinking, why they, this is a game, by the way, uh, in case you haven't caught wind yet, it's a game. Uh, why Nintendo didn't just announce this and just say they were going to do a public test and just let everything be... Po I, I, Nintendo, you need to learn a lesson from this. And unfortunately, I think the lesson you're going to take away from it is never do a public play test again. No, just announce the damn thing. Stop being so secretive. It doesn't even make sense. You had to have known what was going to happen. But in case you just don't care about the two pages of information we have here that i'm going to read off uh i want to just let you know the gist of it here nintendo is testing a mmo a massively multiplayer online game uh it's pretty crazy that nintendo's even developing an mmo we don't know for sure if this is ever going to be a product they launch and chances are Lots of stuff in this aren't final. The visuals probably aren't final. If you've seen images, you might go, man, some of those Im images look a little rudimentary. Again, this is a play test. It is not necessarily meant to be a final version of a game. It might not even be a game that ever comes out. It could literally just be a test. And we'll go over that when we read what this is and what they could be testing and why maybe this, they're using this game to test it, but the game may never be a thing that comes out publicly. First, I just wanna tell you guys, if you wanna support us uh, being able to share this information, the freedom of press and all of that, just subscribe to the channel. We're on a road to 140,000 subscribers. I wanna make sure we bring you all the latest and greatest on Nintendo. If this stuff didn't leak publicly today, no, I wouldn't be talking about it, but it did. And I feel like it is my right as someone who reports on Nintendo to bring this public information to you, at least in the only way I can. So enjoy some random gameplay of whatever I decide to throw up, probably Echoes of Wisdom or something, uh, maybe some Mario Party, and uh, I'll just go over what this game is because I can't show you anything on it. So here we go. Uh, so they had a 13 section area on the website after you get in. So the first section is about the playtest program. With the Nintendo Switch Online playtest program, we aim to test the boundaries of mass multiplayer functionality and gameplay on our servers. Things to keep in mind when interacting with others, respect others in all instances, play according to the rules within in the terms of conditions, etc. Do not give your personal information to anyone else. Carefully consider the data you share. Sharing inappropriate content could result in disciplinary action. If you discover any problems or issues, use the report feature to report them. And I want to go back to this very beginning part uh, where it says, we aim to test the boundaries of mass multiplayer functionality in gameplay on our servers. They could just be doing this as a test for a future game, and this isn't that future game. They just want to make sure their servers can handle 
an MMO style game. So again, this might just be a test for what is actually a completely different game. But uh, we're going to get into this because it's pretty well fleshed out in some regards. Kind of basic in some ways, but fleshed out in others. So the game's purpose. In this game, the goal is to work with others to fully develop a massive, expansive planet by utilizing creativity and farmed resources. As you progress across the planet, you'll discover new lands, enemies, and resources that will become essential to your journey. Next section, how to develop. Throughout your adventure, players will be granted special tools known as beacons. These beacons emit a healing light that purifies and develops the land. The higher your beacon is placed, the wider its beacon zone becomes. Within your beacon zone, your best work can be done. Players will repeat the process until their current planetary block is considered fully developed. In the next section, about the beacon zone. The beacons players receive will be their most valuable tool. You are the master of your beacon zone. Only you can move, lift, or edit items within your beacon's light. Just as others cannot edit things within your beacon zone, you cannot edit things in someone else's beacon zone. Places outside of the beacon zone are public areas that anyone can work in. In public areas, anyone can pick up things, place them, and edit them. To protect your builds and precious items, you'll want to store Store them inside your beacon zone for safekeeping. Now, the dev core. This is the next section. The dev core is a separate space from the planet you'll be developing. Think of it as a social hub to gather with other players. At the dev core, you can level up your character, get items you will need for your journey, commune with others, and more. Now, the next section says leveling up your character. That's right, you do level up, just like an MMORPG. About dev points. Anytime players make progress in developing the planet with a beacon's light, they'll earn dev points. Players can use dev points in the dev core to raise your development level. By increasing your development level with these points, you can obtain convenient items for further development activities. About connects points. Players earn connects points by interacting with other players in a variety of ways. Players use connects points in the dev core to raise their connection level. By increasing your connection level, players will have access to fun community related items. Now the next section, UGC features. Our UGC, otherwise known as user generated content, Features will allow players to create content that they can use themselves, as well as share with others. You can make all sorts of different UGC in-game. You can receive feedback by sharing the UGC you create with others. To create UGC, you must obtain a UGC license by taking a test in the game to show you understand the importance of respectful communication. Next section is the reporting feature. There is a feature for reporting problematic players or inappropriate content that other players have created. Please report problems if you find them in order to maintain a safe and respectful gaming environment. Next up, the next section says developing position system or DPS, which I find hilarious because DPS has completely different meanings in most of video games, damage per second, um, dragon point systems. Here it's called Development Positioning System. So every player is equipped with a special skill known as Development Positioning System, aka DPS. This allows players to see a wide array. This allows players to see a wide array of details, including the development status of the planet and the positions of other players. Now the next section is a spectate feature. Within the DPS spectate feature, players can see beacons and other players from great distances. Note, because this software is for verification, you cannot turn this feature off. Now the next section, what happens if I lose my beacon? If you've misplaced your beacon, you can use the DPS to warp to it. If for some reason you are unable to locate your beacon, please visit the dev mind in the dev core. Now about save data. The game's save data is saved automatically, as in not on the player's Nintendo Switch system, but on the server. So you can close the game at any time and pick up where you left off. We expect the save data to carry on throughout the playtest period, but 
if an unexpected issue occurs in the system, there is a possibility that the player's save data will be deleted without prior notice. Thank you for your understanding with this. That would be wiping the server, right? That's something they may have to do, but they don't anticipate having to do. Again, this is an online MMO. So yeah, the save data has nothing to do with your local system. All right, the recommended gaming setup. The recommended gaming setup for this playtest is TV mode with a wired internet connection. And now we know why Nintendo wanted you to have a wired internet connection because it is the best way to play MMOs. Obviously, a lot of us play things like World of Warcraft and other MMOs on wired connections all the time, and a wired connection might be just fine, but they're talking about the ideal gaming experience. Look, guys, uh, I don't really know what to think other than this is Nintendo doing something new, doing something exciting. Uh, I don't foresee this being a game they plan to launch this year clearly i think this is something maybe they're looking forward to 2025 2026 uh it also could just be that nintendo is just testing this idea of doing an mmo because they have a grander mmo in mind uh down the line maybe it's for pokemon maybe it's for mario maybe it's a completely new ip so i'm just excited to see nintendo trying new things uh and my only confusion with all of this is how stingy they're being about this information. It's clearly going to be out there. The gameplay clips are going to be out there. Uh, people are, are going to know everything about this this game. I just I just don't know why Nintendo is being this secretive about a public playtest. Again, I know they did ask nicely for people not to share anything. That nice ask was actually not through an NDA, so it is not a legally protected thing. It is just a nice to ask and now that they're copyright striking people which i find to be a little too far nintendo come on guys come on guys you had to have known what was going to happen come on you can't do this and not know this is why even other people like when there was a, a, a play test where they asked nicely for people not to share things about skull and bones stuff still got shared about skull and bones from ubisoft and ubisoft didn't sit there and copyright strike channels over it i think that Nintendo is learning on the fly, and hopefully they rescind at least the strikes, even if they want to keep the takedowns, because I think strikes are too far. Uh, setting that aside, obviously the focus should be on talking about the actual game. I think this game sounds really interesting. I don't know if it's my cup of tea, but I'll, you know, if it ever becomes a full product that they release, I'll probably try it out, as I like MMOs, and I usually like MMORPGs, and this isn't a traditional MMORPG, but... I'm at least willing to give it a try. I will note a few things about the visuals. Uh, the characters we play as look like cavemen, like cartoony cavemen, like Flintstone level cartoony cavemen. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. Like the, uh, the the build system looks like it's blocks and cubes, which makes you think of things like Minecraft or Roblox. So uh, I'm just going to sit back and see uh, what becomes of all of this, if it ever becomes a thing, or if they're just testing for a completely different project because they knew this stuff would leak out. And the actual game they're working on isn't this, but they're just using this as a public test to make sure the servers can even handle an MMO, uh, which... You know, Nintendo servers have struggled to handle normal online multiplayer, so can't blame them for wanting to test MMO. Anyways, that being said, folks, I am Nintendo Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video.